so pleased to be bringing you Coffee with the Editor, proudly brought to you by IRZ with uh, Tazara, CEO. So the current status of operations, I know you guys have had a really challenging time, but uh, where are you at now? Uh, well, yes, it's, yes, it's true. We, the organization has had a very challenging time in the past. It is still going through uh, challenges. Um, you may, you, you, you probably know that uh, we had dropped from a high of 1.2 million mm. tons per yes. annum, uh, which we had achieved in 1978 or so. That dropped to about uh, 88,000 tons uh, three years ago. Sure. So um, we've now moved from that 88,000 with uh, hardly any other uh, inputs uh, to 220,000. So uh, it's good in that we've had uh, a 151% increase. Mm in terms of um, uh, the volume that we have moved in this period. Yes. Uh, but apart from that, in terms of operations also, the transit time, which used to take about 30 to 35 days from Kapilimposhi to Dar es Salaam, that has now been reduced to between five and seven days, uh, which has been quite remarkable, and our customers love us for that. Uh, also, as part of the as part of the uh, uh, the movement to, to to achieve this, uh, we have had to reduce the number of temporary speed restrictions that we had. These were about 54. Now we are around about 22 uh, speed restricted areas. And um, going forward, we believe that uh, by the end of the year, we could get to single digit speed restricted areas and shorter transit times. And how have you gone about to achieve that? I mean, have you invested in rolling stock? Um, how much has it cost you to upgrade or do maintenance to, to the line? You see, because we are not getting any, we haven't received any uh, specific injection of funds into this. So we are using the, um, the operational uh, revenues uh, to uh, to to undertake this work, so to to do to do all this in terms of the speed restrictions, we have had to spend close on to two million um, uh, dollars over this period in order to to take out the speed restricted areas. The investment in infrastructure going forward. I mean, what do the projects look like? Are there any big procurement opportunities open or coming up? On the infrastructure, we are continuing. We are continuing with the work that uh, we started, injecting the funds from operations into into the um, uh, maintenance of the bridges. We have a lot of bridges that we have vandalized, so we are working on we are working on that the replacement of um, concrete slippers. But all of this is is really a small time, in that we can only do as much as what our revenues. Can allow for the for the for the for the big projects. We are looking at the especially for the 2019-2020. We are looking at um, getting 12 new locomotives and um, 600 wagons. Those would th those would be new. Yes. In the short term, we are hiring some locomotives. So far, we've hired five. We need to hire between. Uh, another five to ten more uh, uh, locomotives mm -hmm. for immediate application. And also we need to hire about um, 200 wagons mm -hmm. in order to enable us to move the traffic. We have a lot of, um, we have a lot of traffic that has been offered to us. Yeah. And we are seeing the lack of uh, equipment as a major constraint uh, to the uplifting of this traffic that's offered to us. Who, who are you leasing the equipment from currently and uh, are you putting it out to tender for competitive bidding? No, we are not. We are, we are, we are leasing the locomotives today from Calabash. Okay. Yes, we are leasing the locomotives from Calabash. Depending on the numbers that we have, we, we may just increase the numbers that we are getting from Calabash 
Hmm. Uh, if we don't have, then we'll have to go out on um, some kind of tender. The, the role of um, China and Chinese investments in Tanzania or, a t or, or Tazara, sorry, more to the point. China has always been um, an all-weather friend for, for Zambia and for Tanzania, mm. and particularly for, um, uh, for Tazara. Uh, we have a report that they undertook, a technical report that they undertook in 20, 2012, mm. which was um, moderated and reviewed in 2016, shows just the amount of work that is required to be done in order to bring the line back to the operational levels at which it was designed. Yes. Uh, so we are in discussion with them as to um, the relationship that we are going to have with them once all this, the funding for this is provided. You know, are you guys involved with the, the high-speed rail project that's being proposed with um, NEPAD and the African Union? Or is that more on the Zambia? The, 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 well, it is an ongoing project. That's an ongoing project. We, we've had the African Union, they have come to our, our Mpika, Mpika workshops. Yes. They've gone to the Mpika workshops and they've identified Mpika workshops as, um, a, potential, as, as a potential location of uh, production of some of the components that would go to the high speed. But... Um, uh, the, the project itself has not proceeded um, uh, very far, but that is what has happened, that uh, they have identified it as a place which can do the maintenance because it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's almost halfway. Mm. Uh, they can do the maintenance and uh, also uh, uh, produce some of the components required for the high-speed um, uh, trains. Well, that's, that's quite exciting in itself. For, for those of my readers who don't know, can you contextualize the role that Tazara plays? Tazara is the, is, is the bridge between Sadiq, Sadiq Railways and the East African Railways in that it connects all the railways from uh, Durban to all the way from Durban up to the East African port of, um, of Dar es Salaam. So that, that, that is the role that it plays. It moves, it moves on a day-to-day -day basis the copper products from the, uh, from the DRC and from Zambia and the manganese into the, into the port. And then um, the inputs into the mines are also traversed, uh, 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 moved by Tazara from the, the Dar port into the Congo and into Zambia, including in, including um, agricultural products. And and where do you see where do you see the future of the Tazara system? What, what do you see the future to be? The future for Tazara is great. It's really great. The future for Tazara is great. Uh, even with these challenges, we have seen we have seen today a shift in the thinking of. Uh, uh, the, 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 the shareholders in Zambia, there is more inclination towards, uh, towards utilization of the railway. Mm -hmm. here, here in Tanzania, uh, you, uh, as you are aware, they are putting up the SGR so that they can move as much traffic as possible by rail. And um, in Zambia, the Zambian government have already imposed a 30, a 30% uh, uh, 30% of, of all heavy traffic has to move by rail. Mm. So this uh, sector instrument has already been passed and it is in the, in the, first, in the initial stages of being implemented. With that, with that, the amount of traffic that Tazara will need to move is huge. And uh, we see, to back up what they want to do, uh, I believe that more, more and more uh, investment will be put into the railways to enable this to happen. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to, to give as a message to both suppliers and other operators in Africa before we close out? Oh, only to say that um, we do have some projects, especially uh, with our, uh, uh, our strategic plan, which we have shared with our um, shareholders, uh, who need within this period around about uh, 220 um, 
225 million um, uh, dollars over this period of five years for purchase of locomotives, for purchase of wagons, for purchase of um, infrastructure equipment, and also uh, for the um, uh, for the signaling and telecommunications. Mm. So they are welcome to have discussion with us as to the timing of uh, when this would be happening. Do you have an idea as to that timing? Yes, it is. It, it is. It is. It is spread. It is spread. Um, it is. It is spread over a, a period of five years, mm -hmm. and each year a certain amount would be uh, would be spent in order to improve uh, those facilities. I, I I would have to look at the actual documents to give the timing of when each of them would be happening. Are you able to share that document with me? No. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> Okay, could could you could you share like a a picture with the timelines for me, with me, with my readers? I, I don't have it in front of me right now. <laughs> All right. Well, look, it would be nice to to say we're going to do rolling stock, and this is the time frame we're going to do signaling. This is the time frame we're going to do infrastructure. Yes. So I know that. Nice. I know that. Yes, I know uh, that. If you could maybe, do that. maybe maybe I can. Um, Maybe, no, yeah. Maybe I can send you uh, something like that. Um, that would be fantastic. I would be most right. grateful. Well, I think it's very exciting. I've seen Tazara grow despite the challenges over the last couple of years. And, you know, your team, your communications team have been phenomenal. They always respond to me. And I thank you very much for your time.